Good morning, Sunday 10 students. Today I shall be teaching you Act 3, Scene 2. Okay. Now in this scene, Bassanio has already reached Belmont and he is about to take the risk of choosing the caskets. Okay. So now in this particular scene, we come to know how Portia is showing some favoritism towards the third suitor. She did not show any kind of interest towards the first suitor, that is the Prince of Morocco. The second suitor was the Prince of Aragon. In fact, she insisted that before they hazard or before they could choose the casket, they were supposed to make promises. Okay. Now, again, I am explaining to you that you, whenever you have been asked to write the terms and conditions before choosing the casket, you have to write it in a sequence. That is important. You will score full marks if you write it according to the sequence which is shown at the time when the Prince of Aragon repeats the terms and conditions. The first one is never to reveal or disclose to anyone whatever casket you had chosen. Okay. So you're just supposed to be numb, dumb, not supposed to reveal which is which casket you had chosen. The second one, if he fails to choose the right casket or if he chooses the wrong casket, then never again in his life he is supposed to propose any maiden in terms of marriage. In other words, if he fails to choose the right casket, then he is supposed to remain a bachelor throughout his life. Now you have to mention if he fails to choose the right casket or if he chooses the wrong casket, then he is not supposed to propose any maiden for marriage. The third one, if he fails to choose the right casket or if he chooses the wrong casket, then he is supposed to leave immediately without uttering a single word. Okay. So now these were the terms and conditions that were told and she also explained, whosoever comes, they will have to make this promise. Was this term and condition put forward to Bassanio? No. But let us see what she has to say in this regards. So the scene is in Belmont, a room in Portia's house. Enter Bassanio. Portia, Graciano, Nerissa, and attendants. Okay. So before we go on further up, I will just explain that in the earlier scene, Nerissa had already mentioned that the most suitable husband is Bassanio. The only appropriate person that and is entitled to be Portia's husband is Bassanio. So we come to know that Nerissa is in favor of Bassanio choosing, means marrying. She would want that Bassanio should choose the right casket and marry Portia. On the other hand, we see Graciano also having the similar intentions or feelings that he should, Bassanio should uh, 
should be successful in marrying Portia. That is the reason why he decided to change his way of talking, his behavior, because Bassanio had already mentioned that your behavior is too crude, too you know, harsh. We friends do accept you whatever way you speak, but in a foreign land, in a new place, new people, this kind of talking will ruin my marriage. And then Graciano promises that he would change and he would be well behaved and speak very gentle and politely. So we come to know that even Graciano is in favor of Bassanio Mary Portia. We have to keep this in mind. Okay. So now we know the readers, Portia, Nerissa, everybody knows which is the right casket, except for the suitors. Now Bassanio does not know which is the right casket. So let us see now what Oshia has to say. Oshia, I pray you tarry. I am requesting you. Tarry means wait. Pray here means request. Okay. A day or two. That means I am requesting you to stay for a day or two. Before you hazard for in choosing wrong. So before you make a mistake by choosing the wrong casket. I lose your company, therefore forbear a while. Now if you choose the wrong casket, then I shall lose your company. Means I shall lose you forever. Because we still have to keep the terms and conditions in mind. For whosoever chooses the wrong casket, he will never ask any maiden in marriage. And he has to leave immediately. So she says, for that reason, I am asking you to wait for a day or two. Because if you choose the wrong casket in a haste, then I will lose you forever. There's something tells me, but it is not love. So now let me tell you, I am telling you this, that I will lose your company or I will lose you, but it is not love, but actually it is, okay. Indirectly she is saying, but it is not love. And then I would not lose you. And you know yourself, hate counsels now not in such quality. He says, now you have to understand. It is not love that I am telling you. Because I love you, I am telling you to wait. Because she cannot say it directly. And she also covers it up by saying, Hate counsels not in such a quality. Now, nobody who hates a person will make such a request. So you got to read between the lines. She says not in love, but hate counsels not in such a quality. Means hate is also not there. Hate will never encourage anybody to remain or she will be affected by his company. So here it is very clearly understood that she is expressing her love towards Bassanio. But lest you should not understand me well, unless you don't understand me well means you should be able to understand what I am telling you. I am saying it is not love, but it is love. Because in hate, I will never make such a request for you to come and stay there for a day or two. 
such kind of words will never come when a person hates another person then she says and yet a maiden had no tongue but thought but we know that a maiden a young girl those days they were not allowed to speak their mind out they were not allowed to express their feelings it only remains in their mind and they only can think of it they cannot express it like the way she is saying it is not love or hate counsels not in such a manner indirectly she is conveying the message to bassanio that she loves him but she cannot express it that is why she says and yet a maiden had no tongue the maiden cannot say it directly except in her thoughts i would detain you here some month or two so i would like you to wait for a month or two before you venture for me i could teach you how to choose right but then i am for sworn okay then she says if you want i would like request you to stay for a month or two so that we could teach you how to choose the right casket but i cannot reveal the secret of the right casket because i have already promised made a promise to my father that i will never disclose or reveal the secret of the casket so in that way i am not supposed to tell you which is the right casket but if you wait in some other way we could teach you as to which is the right casket indirectly not directly i'll keep it till here and again from tomorrow i shall explain again from the beginning till we understand the first part thoroughly okay this is the most important act and scene act 3 scene 2 is very very important okay i shall end now and continue in the next recording thank you